Hey everyone, and welcome to the second episode of this Let's Play for Fallout 4. In this video, we're going to tackle a little bit more uh, cleaning up in Sanctuary Hills, and we're also going to do some more uh, prepping to go out into the Great Unknown. Uh, but before doing anything, let's pick up the Your Special book. And as promised, we're going to use it in luck. That means you can put one skill point into any special and we used it to put uh, one in luck. Um, so let's go ahead and level up. And since we used it to uh, boost luck a little bit, so you see our perception, endurance, charisma, and intelligence are all lacking a little bit, but we've got enough points to do the idiot savant perk. And what this will do is allow us to rank up faster says, you're not stupid, just different. Randomly receive 3x XP from any action. And the lower your intelligence, the greater, greater the chance. We have three intelligence so far. Um, and like I said in the last video, we can always upgrade um, like intelligence and perception and things like that over time. So don't worry about those stats being too low. It just makes it a little bit more challenging for us right now. Um, also, between videos, I installed two mods. The first mod is the unofficial patch for Fallout 4. And the second one makes it to where we can remove leaves and stuff from inside the house. Um, just little mods, but they make a world of difference. Let me know what you think, if you think we should have mods at all, or keep it straight vanilla. Uh, since those mods are kind of small, I thought maybe we could keep them. Uh, but let me know your thoughts. We lacked two pieces of copper in order to build a generator for the water filter. So we found uh, these two lamps that will scrap and be able to build uh, that generator now. Let's head that way, and my plans for this video is to get the water and food situation under control, maybe pick a little bit up around Sanctuary Hills, but also uh, maybe go to the robot disposal ground and see what we can find there. Uh, maybe pick up a, a fat man and a, a, a nuke while we're there. I think that would be really helpful. All right, so before we put our generator down, Let's put down a concrete floor. That way our generator is not just sitting randomly on uh, water or uh, just random concrete blocks. We can have some order to the chaos. There we go. And we got XP for doing that because of the idiot savant perk. That's what that sound was. Um, let's take a look at the side here. That looks good. It's a little cattywampus. Let's do it like that. That might be a southern word, cattywampus. All right, now we can add a generator and we have enough to put the second generator here, which is a little bit more powerful. And that will be helpful because we'll want to build more of these um, water filters. It's talking about running a wire from the uh, generator to the water filter that produces the two energy. We've done that now. And now we'll have 10 purified water in our um, workshop every, I don't know what the amount of time it is like day or every hour that doesn't sound right anyway it's going to give us fresh water in our workshop speaking of something fresh let's go and kick up a good old classic good old rad roach meat since we killed a couple of uh, rad roaches in the last episode let's go ahead and cook up a good old rad roach meal we also have baked bloat fly, which sounds wonderful, especially this time of year in Boston. 
Mm -mm. We have some grilled rad roach meat. Yummy, yummy. And by grilling it, we take out a lot of the rads. It makes it safer for us to eat. And gives us a nice uh, snack to eat on before we head out and do some adventuring. So let's pull up our pit boy. Our status is that we're thirsty and we're hungry. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Let's try some big bloat fly. Got some rads from it, but maybe, just maybe, it's going to do the body good. All right, let's try some grilled rad roach meat. Let's check our stats. It's going down. That's good. And then let's get something to drink. We have some purified water left over. There we go. Those things are going down. Good, good news. Um, so, we're not the most prepped for uh, adventuring right now, but really don't have a whole lot of choice. Um, so why don't we go and find a way for us to um, possibly get a better weapon, um, better armor, things like that. So we could just go straight across here and pick up um, some better armor. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, I apologize for any like skipping or uh, randomly and stuff like that. I'm trying to get my computer upgraded to get a better um, frame rate, things like that. It's got some ammo, stem packs, some knuckles, pipe pistol, and a drifter outfit. Sorry, poor dude. Some mongrel dog meat and a tire iron. So let's check out our apparel. This drifter outfit outfit offers five resistance as compared to this, which is the same thing. It's slightly worse, actually. I'll give you a good look at what it looks like, though. It looks pretty cool. Let's keep it on for right now. Oh, major skip here. Hopefully our um, computer survives. The game survives. There we go. Wow, that was epic. Um, but here we are at the Red Rocket. I did not know when I first played this game about Red Rocket also being a synonym or a um, slang for a dog's penis and it's really you probably didn't didn't want to know that especially since we're greeting a dog right now hey boy hey, what are you doing out here all by yourself you lose your owner buddy okay then let's stick together oh hey how you doing, buddy? Hey, boy. Think you can find something for me? See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy. What'd you find, bud? Hey. Is that a stem pack? Good boy. I love the way his feet hey. are... Bouncing back and forth. Aw. Thanks, bud. You're the best. Alright. Let's see if we can get ready for some enemies. We're about to have some mole rats pop up randomly. We want to be as prepared as possible for those. But we've unlocked the workshop here, which is great. And we can sleep here if we want. Aha. Hey there, coming. <coughs> They're everywhere. Do you see the idiot Savat card? I think flew. The idiot Savant perk pop up and gave us XP for 
killing some of the ro uh, mole rats. That was pretty cool. That one had a table knife. What the, what the what? But we um, took a lot of damage even though it didn't look like we did. And this shit goes to show you how important it is to prepare and um, be cautious whenever going into a new situation even familiar situations because we've been here before we've played this game before and um, those little mole rats did that amount of damage so anywho um, we could go the tunnel underneath if we wanted to so let's go ahead and do that we might use our uh, pistol just for a few of these enemies because um, either that or we can sneak up on them that might be a better choice so I'll take the pit boy off the light off let's see if we can do some stealth melee that didn't work Our idiot savant perk went in. We got an upgrade from it and it restored our health uh, because we got that, that level up. So that was awesome. That was really cool. If I remember, there should be another one back here, isn't there? Yeah, it's a rabbit one too. We gotta be careful about diseases and stuff like that. As you can see, the pit boy is covered in this slimy, gross stuff. Let's look at our status. We're down um, low HP, and so I'm assuming that's what that is and not disease. Let's drink some purified water here. Some of our grilled radrich meat. Like so. That's going to heal us right up. Let's turn on our pit boy light since we've killed everything. Get some of those glowing fungus, which we could use in some recipes for um, for uh, chem our chemistry station. Lock picking. Move the mouse to adjust the bobby pin. Use A to turn the screwdriver to spot you've chosen is correct. Lock will rotate and open. If the lock re resists, release A, reposition the bobby pin. So we're able to unlock novice lock picks. That's going to be it for right now because our perception level is so low. This is going to be fun. I mean, it's going to be a challenge for sure. But I'd rather it be like this than it be too easy. It definitely is not going to be easy the way that we have set our character to be like. But over time, that will be become easier. It's just a challenge right now. Linux says hello, my dog, in real life. Got some coolant. All sorts of stuff down here. I got some of this brain fungus though. So that we can cook up some good stuff and make some money off of it. Did you see something? I heard. Whoa. Did you just burp or something? That was weird. Anyway. Let's do um Let's do this. Let's get some rataway or 
Radax, rather. So that we could come in here. And take less radiation. We got, got, got to get our plaque and fusion core back here. But Trash Busters Award. Got to have that. Mr. Benson, on behalf of Boston Regional Office, I would like to congratulate you and your team on winning the 2076 Trash Busters Award for the greatest year-to-year -year waste reduction by a single store. Respect for the environment is an integral part of, for our cor corporate image. We appreciate your innovative efforts in this regard. Sincerely, Gerald Phillips, Vice President, Boston Region. What's funny is the Trash Busters Award is underground in this um, roast cavern with all the trash that they've been throwing out. Oh man, this is messed up. God died reading a book on in here. That's not the best place you want to go to read a book, but whatever floats your boat. You have enough. Right away, you can do whatever you want, I guess, in this game. I think we're good to go. That was relatively painless. But the sneaking didn't work at all. Man, they were on top of that. Like, you're not sneaking on us. So I could get better on that. But we can get the rooted perk that will help us uh, deliver a lot more damage. So this over here parched. So let me get some water. We're rapidly using up our water. For some reason I thought we were a lot closer to those things, those houses than I remember. It's going to take a little bit of me getting used to being back in the world of Fallout 4. I love this game and I've played it a whole lot, but it's just been a little bit of time since I've played it. But I still remember a whole lot from the 4, and we'll be using uh, the same tactics. So. Just a little jumpy because everything takes a little bit more damage. Let's see if we have anything we could cook up here. We're gonna need some more meat. Ooh, crispy squirrel bits. That sounds really good. Better than rad roach stuff. Got some mole rat chunks. Five A plus five AP for fifteen minutes if you eat this. It's got some benefit to it. And some mutt chops, mongrel dog meat. Doesn't this sound really tasty? Thanks for my mouth water. Hungry. <laughs> All right. Is there anything that we can craft? Help our. Um... Okay, so we could do insulated lining, improve energy resistance. Don't. I think we're going to be coming across anything energy related right now, so I might wait on that. Alright, let's check and see what time of day it is. 9.48 a.m. We started at 5, so that's good. Making good progress here. pick up some of this stuff and then um, as always you know me we're gonna be looting everything so eventually if I don't pick it up right now we'll pick it up in good time so you know me with Fallout games all about looting all right I don't know what I'm trying to do there And it, 
I'm carrying way too much to run. And if I remember on survival difficulty, you um, can injure yourself from carrying too much. So since we're just one over, let's go ahead and eat some crispy squirrel bits and mole rat chunks. And that puts us under and we also leveled up. That idiot savant perk is gonna come in handy. I guarantee it. And we can't unlock this until level 11, the second level of that. So let's go ahead and add one to Rooted. You're part tree. While standing still, you gain 25% damage resistance. Your melee and unarmed attacks deal 25% more damage. We could do that. Or we could do big leagues. Swing for the fences, do 20% more melee damage. And that's all time, even if you're moving. And the way I've been playing, I think Rooted is the best um, one for right now. We're going to be attacking, standing still for the most part. So that's going to give us a huge leg up. I think that's the right choice. Let's read this. See what's going on at the Red Rocket. Business, business entries. New equi equipment installed. Took some wrangling with the head office, but we finally got all the tools we need to machine out our own parts. No more having to pay for, for Corvega factory parts the next time they change the spec on a damn fastener. Just take one we got and trim the excess down until it fits. Rosa Restoration. That right. Rosa Widow in Sanctuary Hills is restoring an old classic Corvega with her son. Nice woman. Pretty. Kid seems like kind of a brat, but I guess that's the point her doing this project with him. Anyway, she's been doing a hell of a job. I was amazed at how much her and the kid have been able to do on their own. The only reason she ever came to me and to get the engine is out of her depth. I'm sure we can help her out. Hope you like my uh, <laughs> poor voice cover there. Safe storage. Jim, take care of these barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Just hide them with the others. We'll figure out a longer term solution later. Hey, if nature's gonna do favor us with a, a cave right below our shop, who am I gonna argue? So they put all the barrels of waste under there. That's perfect. And they got the Trash Buster Award. October service logs. The 1st of October. Replace the brakes in a 2075 Fusion Flea Supreme. Fusion Flea. 6th of October. Monthly service on the Vault Tech van. No major issues with the vehicle, but the rep is an uppity asshole. <laughs> October the 14th. Begin work on a late model motorcycle, pre-atomic. What seemed to be simply a sticky throttle turned out to be more serious issues with the cables. They almost all, they almost all completely degraded. Or we'll replaced with platinum parts. <laughs> oh man, upcharging. October the 18th. Coolant link in one of those new 2077 Corvega coupes. Bubble top. They don't make them like they used to. We hear that all the time. They don't make them like they used to. Friday, October the 22nd. Replace the atomic alternator in the 20, 2073 Corvega. And that's all. That one. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Carrying a little bit too much, so let's go ahead and put it with the subway token. Let's go ahead and put some stuff in here. We're going to put... Decisions, decisions. I know we got the workshop just right in there. Oh, we have the grog knot we need to use. 
Do we not already use that? I guess it just keeps in your um, in your storage. That's cool. And we need to listen to our uh, holotape from our wife. Oopsie. <laughs> no, no, no. The finger's away. There we go. Okay. Just say it. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Yay. Hi, honey. Listen. I don't think that Sean and I need to tell you how great of a father you are, but we're going to anyway. Isn't that right? You are kind and loving. <laughs> That's funny. That's right. And patient. So patient. Patience of a saint, my mom used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being home together, been an amazing year. But even so, I know our best days are yet to come. Mm, there'll be changes, sure. Things we need to adjust to. You'll rejoin the civilian workforce, and I'll shake the dust off my law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now, say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye bye. Come on. <laughs> bye, honey. We love you. That's so sad. Let's see what kind of gas prices we have around here. One dollar thirteen cents or a hundred and thirteen dollars ninety nine cents for bullet. Hundred and ninety three dollars and nine cents. Oh, look at the flies around the mole rats that are dead. That's, that's gross. I got these mosquitoes down here. Let's get used to our uh, pistol, let's say. These mosquitoes. Come on, bud. Just a matter of time. Did we kill it? Sir, are you dead? I don't know. You're not. Thanks for telling us. Sirs or madams, please do not sting me. Ooh. A little too close for comfort there. Never liked those little mosquitoes. They freak me out. At least we got the first one pretty close. We didn't have to get within fighting range. But I don't know if I noticed before when we played all the bugs around the dead animals and stuff. All right, let's see if we can find some good armor or upgraded melee weapon. That would be great. Ooh, you know what that means. Hey, dog meat, come here. Hey. I found something for you, bud. <laughs> yep. I found some apparel for you. Like this red bandana and some welding goggles. Let's see, and I equip that. Aw, aren't you cute? Yep. Even though it looks like he threw up. Right then. It's okay. Stim pack. Medics. We might be thinking about uh, getting a strong back perk. That could be helpful.
our very first Nuka Cola Quantum. Some sugar bombs. It's a reason to celebrate Nuka Cola Quantum. Just uh, finished the Nuka Cola Quantum quest and Fallout 3. I think you had to find like 30 Nuka Cola Quantums and return them to get the Nuka Cola Mississippi Pie. Hey, we found Concord. Now we've got um, some enemies ahead, so we gotta be really careful about just jumping straight into Concord. So here's my thought. What kind of weight do we have? Do we go in now? Let's say, um, let's do it. Kind of sneak in be as cautious as possible. The reason I'm doing this is because we're playing on survival difficulty. If we were playing on very hard, of course I'd just jump in there and and go to town like we did in the other videos. So I think that's what's in, important for me to finish the uh, other walkthrough. So that you can see what it's like to play a different way. Oh, arm is crippled. There we go. Higher iron, knuckles, raider chest, sack hood. Let's get out of the way. Crippled, no. Attack. Alright, so we need to heal. Stim packs on a particular body part, both arms. That's awful. Um, there we go. Let's try this again. Thirsty from lack of water. Did they kill all of them? Hey, up here on the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. The idiots to fly. Level this up. <laughs> that noise. Whoa. The idiot savant just leveled us up twice. Holy moly, this is a great perk. Because we definitely needed any help that we could get. Let's go ahead and put on some better apparel here. It does nothing there. Red leathers. So we got um, four, six. Got the sack hood. Actually, hard hat does a lot better. Let's see how we look. There we go. That's perfect. <laughs> So I'm assuming we're um, slow walking because we're over, we have too much stuff. So let's find us a case to put this in. And I thought that was a case, but it's not. Got some light bulbs. <coughs> over encumbered. Great. Here we go. Let's put some stuff in here. One thing in Knuckles. I got a ton of stuff. Okay, one tire iron. It might be good for us to go back 
at this point. I got a right or a right arm. That's good. Put the harness in there. Now we can put some of this junk. Cleaner, ashtray. Alright, so let's put a little bit more in here and we'll come back and pick it up. But honestly, we're going to have to have um, some extra room when we come in there. And I'd rather have um, a save up to this point. Especially since we're going to be tackling a uh, huge death ball. So... Let's go back to Sanctuary, or at least the Red Rocket, dump some stuff off. I'd feel much better about it. And I don't mind doing this kind of stuff off screen if you want me to. Yeah, we need some of that stuff. I would just rather save now uh, that we've got those um, enemies out of the way. This kind of reminds me of Fallout uh, 76, having to go back to your, your spot. You don't really have one location, always traveling. I mean, I guess it does make it a little bit more r realistic, but I do miss the aspect of just like going all out. I might actually do a um, very hard difficulty, uh, like another another walkthrough, just because it's so uh, so much fun running and just doing whatever the crap you want to do. So. I want to pause the video here for a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, so I want to build a bed or something so that we could save our progress here. Scrap the leaves, clean up a little bit. Yeah, I love this particular um, mod. I think it makes much more sense getting to scrap a lot of leaves and stuff. Like, wonder if you can scrap that in the corner. Okay. Yeah, it looks so much better already being able to remove that stuff. Okay, here's what we want to do. I want to build a bed real quick, save, and then we'll um, prep for the next area. Just a little bed right in the center will be fine. We'll save. And let's just take a nap. Perfect. Well, I'm going to take a break and I will um, see you in the next video, okay? Thanks.